Hello, welcome to this video. I'm going to talk about basically the pros and cons of being a recruitment consultant um, based in the United Kingdom. Whether or not it's the job for you, I, it's very hard for me to say, but I'm going to give you my understanding, my experience. I've worked at four different companies as a recruitment consultant. I'm going to tell you the ins and outs and what, what sort of works and what doesn't. Um, also the pros and cons. So I'll start off with the negatives. Um, unfortunately, I you know just to bring us some light into you know the industry it is very cutthroat in a way it is categorically a sales job and um, so there are targets you'll be expected pretty much every month to meet a certain target and um, there are performance reviews from my experience most people don't hit target but not all of them get fired because they don't meet targets a lot of sales jobs if you don't hit your targets you don't but as a recruiter and um, you're not you know expected to hit it every time Depend on some companies, um, if everyone is hitting their target and you're behind, chances are you'll lose it. Some companies have very pie in the sky targets um, that very rarely people hit it on the odd month here and there. Um, the other negative of being a recruitment consultant um, would be that it's very, a lot of things are out of your hand. Um, there will be a pro um, point to this, to rebut this presumption, but from my understanding, you can do everything correctly and somebody doesn't accept the job offer or the client doesn't call you back for some reason or they lose their budget for hiring so they can't actually hire so a lot of things are out of your control also the basic salary for a recruitment consultant although it's an entry level position and for the job is not particularly worth it um, however there is a pro to this and it's uncapped commission so you can actually earn a hell of a lot more now what you'll be expected to do in a day will be dependent on each company. Now, you could look at potentially making, I don't know, 50 to 60 calls per day. Um, a lot of companies have their 60. I think there was a thing in America where the best salespeople made 60 calls a day. And that sort of come over here and it's been like that for the last 20 years. Um, so a lot of companies just blanketly and they don't know why they do it. They just pick 60 as a number. Um, and potentially a lot of times you're um targeted to make 60 calls and an hour and a half or two hours on the phone which if you're busy it's very very understandable and what the calls will look like it's possible you'll call 30 candidates and you'll call 30 um, employers to see if you can win new business now winning new business will be an integral part of the role you'll be tasked with cold calling and um, people that possibly get 20 calls per day from other recruiters and you'll be expected to follow up with them constantly call them and see if you can obviously win their business now from my understanding my experience this is the worst part of the job that a lot, a lot of people like i tend to do quite well in this department and um, so i don't have too much of an issue with it sometimes i struggle i'm not going to lie i'm not saying i'm the you know a superstar but when it comes to cold calling it's really and truly just being there at the right time there's no trickery to it it's being, you know, understanding of their business and just giving a good service overall. And yeah, negatives, I would say sometimes it can be very long hours as well. I mean, if you're on a basic salary of 18 to 25,000 and you're working 50, 60 hours, some companies would expect you to take calls out of hours, even on weekends as well. Um, my understanding, the companies I've worked with, they've only had that a few times. And it's pretty much because I wanted to do it because I knew that I'd be making you know good money from it so negatives out of the way there are you know depending on each company there are some negativities however I want to talk about the positives now and the positives can be beautiful um commission wise it's not unheard of that you can make find somebody a job and they can get um literally probably you know up to a thousand pound per job placement and you can make multiple of those um a good recruiter will probably make you know one to five thousand pounds per week um or per month sorry in commission to yourself now another negative that i've missed out is the tax so i've got commissions of you know four thousand pounds and or five thousand even and i've lost pretty much 40 percent of that to tax so there's the negatives and the positives however I've had recurring sort of billings. So I've had, you know, good months where I'm more than I'm earning more commission than my actual salary as well. Not unheard of. I'm not the only person that does it. A lot of people do it. So you've got to just pick the right company, 
I wouldn't even say I really killed myself. I just worked up pretty hard, pretty smart as well. Um, and I done quite well with it. And I have a good understanding of the market and the candidates and also the companies as well. Um, so I won some good contracts. So and back to the sort of pros as well. I mean, it's an entry level position. So most people will be offered a job, especially if you've had sales training. Um, definitely if you've had some sort of, you know, cold calling or B2B or B2C, you'll definitely do very well in, um, in recruitment. It's not a hard job. It's a tough job. And what I mean by hard, it's there's no sort of skill involved. You just have to be good, um, you know, with people, have a good understanding and obviously very well organized. Um, this is all miscellaneous and it doesn't really mean anything um, with that. Now, another pro of it is some companies give excellent training. And I mean, training, you know, once a week, there are people that have been, you know, making very good money that you can just be around and sort of watch. It's a nice environment. What I found with recruitment as well and sales, it's it's a very team environment. And um, the company I'm currently working for now are actually one of the most supportive companies and just a well gelled team. The directors are fantastic. Um, and I'm not even just saying that they'll never watch my channel, but I've seen the difference. I've worked for some really good. I mean, pretty much every company I've worked for actually had really good directors and CEOs. And um, so I've been quite lucky with that. And um, the negatives are of that is, you know, I don't want to leave the company. It's, you know, I'll always be there. And, you know, I hope them grow and I want to make money for them as well. And you, you kind of instill that in your in your people working with you in your team as well. It's another pro of it is a lot of jobs you'll be working for three, four years and you won't get a promotion with recruitment. I've seen people get promotions in six months. Um, you know, I'm at a sort of senior level at the moment, but and I, I achieved it probably in about three years. So it's it's very good. And the basic salary I'm on is is pretty good. I mean, it would have been more than what I done my degree in as well. So it's it's a good career um with that. If you can make it work and you work hard with it, recruitment being a recruitment consultant um is very good. Now I want you to pay close attention to the sector you pick as well. Some sectors do very well. I've made a few videos on those in the past, what companies um if you're looking to set up your own business or be a recruiter or even how to get a job. Um, if you have any questions, do let me know. I'll be happy to assist. Um, but I hope this video was slightly insightful. Um, I will be doing a more detailed what a day to day looks like for a recruiter as well. Um, and what the job entails more in more detail, because I think a lot of people want to see that. But pros and cons, just in a nutshell, hope this helped. Um, if you've got any questions, do let me know. Take care.